and welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm making some Valentine's cards utilizing tailor-made cards for you digital set called Forget Me Not. And this set was designed by Monica Taylor and it's made to be non-traditional Valentine's Day because it features the color blue with Forget Me Nots instead of pinks, purples, and reds. So all the papers here have some forget-me-nots on it, and some of them have butterflies and birds also, but they're all blue. So I printed out the papers in the kit, and I printed out four, actually three different designs, and one I printed out twice, and made them five and a half by four and a quarter, so they'll fit an A2 size card base. But you can print them any size you want since they're digital. Now I'm using a stencil that I made with my brother's scan and cut with hearts and I'm using glacier paste and this is called frostbite and I'm going over three of my panels with that. What I like about the glacier paste is it's kind of like buttery smooth like mel almost melted butter so I do keep press and seal on it but I've had this for a couple years and it hasn't dried out unlike the embellishment mousse which gets very hard. So you can see it's very easy to spread and it adds a lot of shine and kind of shimmer to your card. With these type of paste, you want to make sure that you wash off your stencil and your spatula right away because otherwise it'll be very hard to get off. I want to put sentiments on the front of all my cards, so I cut out four banners with some white card stock and I use Lawn Fawn's banner dies for that and then I'm using their wavy sayings from Lawn Fun to stamp love you lots and I did that with faded jeans distress ink and then I'm going over that with some clear embossing powder and I did that for three of the banners but I'm just showing you the one I hold the sentiment up to the different card fronts just to see how it looks and I like it except with the one with the little girl and that's because there's off white on that card and not white. So I'm stamping the sentiment again for that one and just some blue ink and then I'll fix it later so that the background's not white. Now on the card panel with the little girl it has musical staff notes so I decided I would use this musical stencil to go on this one instead of the hearts. So this comes from Newton's Nook and I'm just using my blender and using the Faded Jeans Distress Ink to go over the stencil. And I just do that on part of the card front. Then I'm going around the sides of my card panels, or at least three of them, with this Distress Oxide ink called Stormy Sky. I thought that matched the card really well. And I'm using my blender with a foam dome. I'm gradually switching over to the foam domes. I got those before Tim Holtz came out with them. I got it from scrapbook.com, but now Tim Holtz also has foam domes. And I find they do blend a lot easier than the flat ones do. With the paper that has the paneling, I went around the sides of that with my Distress Ink Faded Jeans. Since this is a darker piece of paper, I thought that would show up better. I decided this panel needed something more added to it, so I found an old stamp of mine that had flowers that kind of look like it goes with this paper. And I'm just using some Versamark ink, and then I'm heat embossing some white powder on it. You could use about anything to go with this set. You could use butterflies, flowers, anything vintage looking, birds. So something you'd probably have a stamp to go with it. This video is part of a hop and there is a giveaway. It's sponsored by Monica Taylor from Taylor Made Cards for You and she's giving away this set that you see me using in this video which is the forget-me-not digital set so in order to enter there will be a raffle copter link in the description below just watch all the videos and fill out the raffle copter link and that'll enter you into the contest and you'll have one week from 
the airing of this hop in order to enter. Next, I'm using my Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Dabber to go over the ephemera that I printed out. And I'm going to be doing heat embossing using Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Glaze. And the color I'm using is Speckled Egg. I had to get as much Tim Holtz products in here as I could because Monica Taylor really likes his products. I'm not as familiar with a lot of multimedia, but I'm trying to learn. Now there you saw me holding up a piece of paper that I printed out the wrong size, but I used that to test out different products to make sure the ink would not bleed. Now this Distress Embossing Glaze is really cool because as you see it goes on in the color and then it melts. So it puts a layer of this kind of robin's egg blue on, but you can see the other colors underneath. Now this is a ticket that comes with the ephemera and it also comes as a whole sheet of I think four different prints of tickets and so you can cut these out. I use my brother's scan and cut but the tickets are mostly straight with just a little bit curve on the edges so it wouldn't be too hard to cut out by hand either. And I went over and did this glaze over all the ephemera that I'm going to put on my cards. I don't show it all because I think you get the idea, but it is really cool watching it melt. I went ahead and glued all my panels to the card bases and I finished embossing with the glaze. And you can see I glazed the sentiment on this one so that it wouldn't have that white background because this paper on the first card doesn't have white, it has an off-white. And I'm going to pop that up with some foam squares and then the rest of the images I'm going to glue onto my card. And I just use art glitter glue. For the rest of the cards, I just glued down the sentiment and I just arranged the images in different places. And you can see that there's a variety of ephemera and tickets that you can put on the cards. So you can easily put together quite a bit of cards with this kit in a short time. That's why I'm going ahead and doing four. While you have your supplies out, you might as well do several different cards. I'm just looking at some embellishments that I have, and this is something my sister gave me for Christmas, but it goes with this very well, and it's called Sea and Shore, and it's from Craft Consortium. And so these blues matched really well, and they're called enamel drops. And here I'm going on to my third card, and you can see there's still some different images that I'm using. So the, I printed out all the ephemera on some extra heavyweight cardstock. It worked fine in my printer, and that way it gives it a little bit of dimension anyway. And it looks almost kind of like the chipboard pieces that you might get when you get ephemera. As I mentioned earlier, this is part of a hop, so I'll have a list of all the participants in the description below. So after you finish watching this video, please hop along to the next person on the hop and give them some love. I'm also adding some other embellishments to all the other cards using the ones I showed before. And on this card, I'm using some gems from, it's actually a shaker mix from Buttons Galore, and it's called Sailor Sky. So I'm just putting on these. Some of them are kind of a little bit aqua, and some are clear, which is hard to tell in the video. I wasn't sure if the art glitter glue would hold the gems on, so then I went and got my glossy accents, because I know that does. And I'm using tweezers. I had one of those jewel pickers from Marvy, but it's wearing out, so I need to get a new one. So if anyone has a good jewel picker, let me know what your recommendations are. On the card with the little girl, I'm using these kind of pearl colored jewels, and it's from a local stamp and scrapbook store. I think it may be their own brand. It's called Positively Possum Designs. It's called Treats, but it's a jewel. So just use whatever you have in, in your stash to decorate your cards. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.